you've done it so quickly. Well done. That's yes. probably why the recipe is yours, isn't it? That's correct. Quick puff pastry. Quickly done. While you were doing your quick puff pastry, I've done some cheese talk. Come and have a look. Uh -huh. uh, it took me three minutes uh, just to roll some puff pastry. That's my classical recipes, which I've done. Now, I've used some egg wash just on the top, sprinkle cheese on the top. I've got parmesan there and a little cheddar, and then a little paprika, which I've got there, just a little. Cut it with different shapes, see? For example, you've got some thin, small shapes, which will go beautifully well with what? The consomme. Consomme. And those one will be very nice with a little bechamel sauce. As, as an, an appetizer. Aperitif. With an aperitif. And those one will be perfect for the kids. As you know, children love large yeah. little and canapes. Crispy thing. And crispy thing. Now, it will take <coughs> seven or eight minutes to cook in a hot oven. That's, that's what I've done. I thought that you would uh, be happy to see that I did some work. When you've you been were busy. Here. You've been busy. I keep busy all the time. <laughs> I'm going to take you through a brioche, how to make a brioche, which is nothing but a very enriched bread. It is part of the bread family, the same conception, using yeast and flour. And you know my feeling about flour? I told you. When I touch flour, I do touch life. It's, it gives me a fantastic feeling. To do a good brioche, you need the flour, the eggs, the butter, salt, sugar, yeast, and a little bit of milk. You diluate the yeast with the milk and the salt. You mix your sugar with the butter. You put your flour in the bowl. You then put the mixture of the yeast, milk, and salt in it. And then you turn on your eggs slowly to have a taro mixing and take it to number two mixer. When all that is clearing the bottom of your bowl, which should be like that, and then you can touch it without sticking in your hand, you put your butter into it. I'm going to do it by hand. As I said to you, I love to work by hand. I love the feeling of the dough. I've done my apprenticeship. There was hardly any machine. Everything was done by hand. And remember, a good brioche, the sound of a good brioche, it is when it is not sticking into your hand. I'm happy with that. The butter has been well mixed. It's got a beautiful smell. As an apprentice, I used to eat it even raw. Now, I've got that same version who has been proving in, a, in a two hours in a warm place. Now, proving doesn't mean you stay by it and wait two hours. You do other jobs. If it proves for a little bit more, it won't hurt it. When it has been proven for two hours, you break it. You break it totally, wipe up your mold nicely, and then you put it in the fridge for at least seven hours, which I've done so. Now, seven hours doesn't mean seven hours sharp. It could be a little bit less or a little bit more. It won't worry. Now, with this one, I'm going to do a typical brioche, a classical brioche. Classical brioche, but I can do many things, other things with it. I could wrap up game, meat, or a kuglof, which is a speciality of Alsace. Raisin, which has been in rum for two hours, this is the antique version of the mold cook, the Kuglof, where it was cooked in the old days. This one is the new version. Brioche has always been associated with France for century. When the populace of Versailles, when the populace of Paris were at the gate of Versailles, climbing for the head of the queen, the queen asked one of her lady in waiting, what do they want? The lady in waiting say, Your Majesty, they want bread. Her Majesty say, Well, why don't we give it? The lady in waiting reply, Your Majesty, we haven't got any. It is said that the Queen walk away and say, Why don't we give them brioche? Didn't do her any good. She lost her head on the guillotine. But, uh, so you got your mold there, put your brioche in there, press it a bit. This is going to be the head. Notice again, clean hand. When you deal with pastry, you should be as gentle as possible. Clutch the head a bit. I've got a surprise for you. But Hello. Finish what you're doing. I'm pushing there. I don't want to disturb you. Putting the head in there. You're the macho of the family, you know that? Oh, you definitely you know. are. 
When I touch dough, no, I'm thinking about I when you're working excited. your butter by hand instead of using your mixer. Yes. You, Not I don't many a, people I've done a classical apprenticeship. Yeah. Dough machine. Yes. All by hand. God, you make me yeah. sweat. Here's my brioche. Yes. No, okay. And then a little egg wash. Yes. First, yeah. and then prove it mm -hmm. in a nice warm place. Yeah, and I would give I him another little egg wash before yeah. putting it into the oven. Now, may I just say that what you were talking about putting the eggs doesn't really work out completely and totally with our book. So I've got to have a little word of advice with. Well, it is not my no, fault no. if no, you no, have no, written no, the no. book wrongly. No, no. When you look at the numbers of eggs you put, oh, it doesn't okay. make any difference, believe me. And I'm addressing that to the viewer, not to you. So you do not listen to that. Uh, the eggs can be put together, believe me, and it will beautifully well. But that's another version of Albert Brioche. Yes. This is the classic. Mine is I've never heard of putting four eggs and one after. Well, but you, you know, doesn't you've matter. You've done the wrong apprenticeship. Ma, and, um, I've, I've, sorry look about what I've it. done. I moulded more brioche oh, and I had them risen for you. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Now, there is one thing you forgot as well to mention, if I may point out, Mr. Yes. Mister Supremacy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mr. yes. Top. Your yes. milk must be warm when you mix it yes. with the tippet. Oh, that's very important. It is, it is. Yeah. To melt, your, yeast. To yeah. me to melt yeah. your yeast. To activate the yeast. Yes. All around. And then scissors. And a bowl of water. With a little water. That's right. Now the cutting will help it yeah. to develop when it goes into the oven. I like to do one. You like to do one? With you. With me? Yes, look. Oh, you this see? one... Uh, That's the way. When we, we, no, we it's, looking, it's looking at uh, you and it yes, felt no, sick. No, it's a discussion. Yeah. You see, the egg yeah. wash, what you didn't just explain, which is important, is that you must egg wash from the mould to the insides to make oh, sure so that... Oh, so it doesn't uh, go down, so it doesn't right. stick, well, it you doesn't did, stop you the rise. You obviously yes. did, did it well, but you didn't say a word about it. Right, right. Eh? So, Please do explain to yeah, you yeah, what's yeah. happened. You're telling him everything. Uh, scissors. Now uh, I cut the same way that you do, but I do. I don't do it straight. I'm doing it. Well, in you've never been very straight well, in your no, life. Quite so right. you're even quite when right. you cut your brioche, you see, you see the difference. Yeah. Can is you tell me the reason? Well, well, you don't know the reason. It will look a lot nicer. Ah, uh, would it? It does already. <laughs> look at that. Yes. Well, you know, it has to be cooked to I be must, seen. I must say one thing. You make better dough than I do. But for the finished product, I do a better job than you do. Oh, I see. Well, Shall we cook it now? Come in from you is quite a compliment. Why don't we work as a team, like before? I find it very difficult to work with you, yeah. I must say. Let's Go and put the brioche in the oven. In the oven. For how long? Oh, I would say about 20 minutes, would no, you? No, no, no. 15? No, no, no a bit Half more than hour. that. No, the 15 minutes you check, and yes. you give another 10 to 15. And the small one will take 8 to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the small one should be, you know, who for? Who is the small one for? For my brother, and he's been working very hard. Yes. So I cook the small and you cook the big one. All right. Shall we have a look at those beautiful pastries which we make out of our puff pastry today? What do you think of that milfoil, Albert? It looks wonderful, yeah. so appetizing. Yes, and all out of the puff pastry, very finely. Uh, roll, beautifully cooked, long enough so they're crusty. And if we look at the laid, you can see them there with the whipped cream mixed with the custard. You see, there's two, two strawberries showing yes. up nicely. And we've got two thirds custard cream into it and one third whipped cream. Just mix little strawberries in the middle and that few little almond around. So the millefeuille is what I would call the pièce de résistance. Children love it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Petivier. I've done some petivier there, which I've cooked a bit more than I would normally cook them, as I know you love them that uh, way. Uh, yes, Michel. You love them that way. In fact, you just uh, uh, yes, you just uh, pinch me. I, I <laughs> couldn't way. wait. I'm you sorry. You couldn't wait up uh, to the hand. I of can the... tell you, it's perfect. <laughs> yes. Now, since you did test it, can you tell us what is in that petivier? Am in I right to say that it's a little creme d'amande? Yeah, creme d'amande, yes. Creme d'amande de Petivier, so Absolutely. it's marzipan cream. Marzipan cream. And I do add, I don't know if you noticed it when you tested it, a spoon of creme pâtissière, yes. which is lovely. Much and smaller. of course, of course, last but not least and not the less important, you little palmier. Which I love. Yes, you're going to have one now? I'm going to take one. this one. Take this take one, this yes. one. I'm going to have one now. It is time to, to bid our goodbye. And happy eating. To wish people happy eating. And, and happy baking. And happy baking. <laughs>